What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got wonderful, wonderful news about the One Piece card game. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we've been waiting for a couple of things. And they are now here. Including, and this is wonderful, the tutorial app. Now, you will notice that literally yesterday, I went and showed you some gameplay using the tutorial app. Because I was very, 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 very excited about it. Why would I not be? It's awesome. And in that video, I showed you how you can change the language to English. And actually, even though it was the Japanese app, it did allow you to change the language to English and play the whole thing in English. Which, for the record, the Digimon TCG tutorial app didn't when it initially came out in Japan. So I had to try and play that in Japanese, which was not easy. But the good news is, none of that's an issue because we good. Yeah, it's out in English now. The whole thing's out in English. The tutorial app is now out and this is wonderful. And unlike so many similar apps over the years, it's not launching for Android now and it will be on iOS later. It's out on Google Play. The Android version is there. It's out on the App Store. The iOS version is there. Now, inevitably, I have already heard from a whole bunch of people basically saying it's not available in my country. I don't really know what to do or say about that and I'm really sorry. Pass. What I can tell you is it is out in some places and I assume that means it's going to be coming out in more places as time goes by. I'm hoping that's the case. Now, as for the app itself, I mean, look, it's fine. It is not going to last you very long. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in a, it's fairly bare bones. But it's a tutorial app. It does what it is supposed to do. So it's got some really nice, and I've just checked it is out there on my, I can get it on my iPhone right now. It's really nice in terms of teaching you the rules. And it's got a couple of tutorial scenarios. And then it lets you play a game with, I believe it's a modified version of the Red Luffy starter deck. And you can play a few games with the Red Luffy starter deck and that's it. That's all there is. Once you've done these scenarios. Now, I will say that there is a coming soon thing there. So there is every possibility that in the not too distant future, they are going to add something else. My prediction, by the way, the Kaido deck is also in there. You can play against it. I'm assuming that means that soon you're going to be able to then go and play a game with the Kaido deck. I don't know that for certain. That's just my prediction based on what they've seen there. There's not a huge amount to it. I'll be honest with you. But that's not the point. The point is... It is an app that teaches you how to play the game. I've talked about the game a lot, but being able to actually sit down there on the app and play a bunch of games was really nice. It's really nice to see the different ways you can use the Don deck. The Don deck can be confusing. I've had a bunch of questions from people about the Don deck specifically and about active Don and rested Don and attaching Don and returning Don and all of that. And I will say that playing a few games with the tutorial app is brilliant to really show you exactly how the Dom deck works. But it's nothing more than that. You will be done with it in an hour or so, I would imagine. I was. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I went through the tutorial scenarios. I played a couple of games on the Luffy deck. I went, hey, this is kind of cool. I realized quite how good the Nami from the starter deck is. It's got the same skill as Luffy. lets you put a rested Don onto one of your characters. But... The idea that I could just continually play cards, pay for them with Don, my Don are then rested, and then I can use both Nami and Luffy each to attach one of those rested Don to my characters, because you can't usually attach rested Don to your characters. Love it. That was cool. I really enjoyed that. But let's be honest with you. That's it. That's what the app does. And I tell you what, I cannot recommend highly enough, should say the translated proxies are from OnePieceCardGame.dev. I cannot recommend highly enough, go and try it out. If you've got even the most passing interest in the One Piece TCG, go and check out the tutorial app. You can download it right now and it will show you a bunch of cool stuff. It'll show you how the game works and it is 
brilliant. I love it. Also, I've got it on my phone, and I am well aware that I've already gone through on my computer and done everything, and there's not really much more to do. Don't even care. Every so often, I'm going to sit and just play a couple of games on my phone, because I can. And then I'm going to desperately hope that in the near future, they add more content. But for now, this is brilliant. You know what else is brilliant? Premium Bandai. Because, you see, there is something that's gone up on Premium Bandai right now that you can go and enjoy. There are a bunch of binders. There are three binders, to be precise. There is the Nine Pocket Binder Set Manga version, the Nine Pocket Binder Set Anime version, and the Nine Pocket Binder Set Original Illustration version. Now, for me, there is absolutely no contest. It's the Original Illustration version. That's what I want. I want it so bad. It looks amazing, and I love it. I want it. Here's the problem. It's over on Premium Bandai. And that means that I can't have it. Why can't I have it? Because Premium Bandai does not ship to the UK. Premium Bandai ships within the US. And it only ships within the US. Now, what you do is you pay $28. It is worth pointing out that the binders do come with a booster pack. Which is lovely. You get one pack of Romance Dawn. Admittedly, it's like $4. So it brings down to a $24 binder. But still, that's kind of cool. But there is a rather nice thing going on here. Whereby the first 2,500 people who go and order this binder are going to get two free demo decks. I'm assuming the demo decks are the Kaido and Luffy decks. Very much like we see in the tutorial app. That would be my guess. I believe I've seen them also being used over in Japan as well. So yeah, that, that's kind of awesome. And $28 for two demo decks and a binder and a booster pack. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, that's, that's pretty good value. Now we're talking. Now the pre-orders aren't actually up yet, although as I'm recording this, they open in just a couple of hours. So, get on that. They're only running from June the 30th till August the 4th, which means you get just over a month to go and order it, like five weeks. I'm sure you will be fine. Now, obviously, there is an issue here. And the issue is, the entire world does not live in the USA. So, what's going to happen? Well, it says quite clearly, we also plan to release them in Europe and other countries as well. So, stay tuned. So there are two questions here, and the questions are, how do we get the demo decks, and how do we get the binders? And I'm fairly sure the answer to both questions is your local game store. I'm pretty sure that's where the answer lies. Because over in the Digimon TCG, there have been a whole bunch of of things released through Premium Bandai, like the Tamers Evolution box, as an example, both of them. And you know what happens? They just get released at your local game store. Where did I go and buy the Tamers Evolution box too? I mean, come on, you, you know the answer to this. I just told you. I bought it at my local game store. Mad for Miniatures down in Cornwall. They are awesome. Seriously, cannot recommend that shop highly enough. They are brilliant, brilliant people. So, these binders are going to be sold in your local game store. It's as simple as that. As for the demo decks, will you get the demo decks with the binders? I'm not entirely sure. However, it is very much worth pointing out that there were learn to play events at your local game store for both the Digimon TCG and the Dragon Ball Super TCG, which of course are Bandai run games in the West. And those learn to play events happened at your local game stores and you were given demo decks when you went there. So I'm not saying this definitely will happen. Can't say that. Can absolutely say that I expect it to happen and that I would be very surprised if there weren't learn to play events where you can get the demo decks. That's my prediction, ladies and gentlemen, and I feel very good about that prediction. So if you're in the US, get yourself over to Premium Bandai. If you're not in the US, get in touch with your local game store. Now the last thing we need to talk about today is a storage box. Because you see, I've told you a couple times that over on Amazon Japan, 
You can go and order all four starter decks together. Obviously, Japanese language cards, they won't be legal for tournaments over here. And if you buy all four of them at once over on Amazon Japan, you get yourself an exclusive storage box. Well, we've now been shown that exclusive storage box. It looks like this. It's actually kind of cool. Now, if it's anything like the Digimon ones, and I'm 99% sure it is, it's just a cardboard box that you can store a bunch of cards in with a cool design. It is absolutely not essential. It's just pretty cool. What I will say is, they have done this for the Digimon TCG in Japan, whereby they've had special promotions where if you buy certain things on Amazon Japan, you get yourself free stuff. Now, the best one they did was you actually bought a pair of starter decks and you got yourself two promo cards, alternate art promos and sleeves and the box for free, which is brilliant. They've always released them over here. The first lot of starter decks over on Amazon Japan came with a box, which, I mean, I've got two of these, and I did not order these from Amazon Japan. And then the second one, which was with other starter decks, that box has also been made available. They were given out on Premium Bandai at one point when you bought stuff. They've been participation prizes for online events. They have made their way over here. So, look. I'm a big old nerd. I have ordered the four starter decks with the box. When I come into these videos and I tell you how excited I am for the One Piece card game, I'm not lying to you. You know, I, I am importing this stuff from Japan because I'm that excited. But you don't need to. I can't tell you this box will be made available over here. US, Europe, etc. I don't know. But I can tell you that Bandai are following their Digimon model creepily closely with One Piece and they did this on Amazon Japan for Digimon twice before and both times they ended up being released over here. I think that's extremely telling. Although I've told you this before and I want to tell you again nice and quickly, I don't know what happened but be super super careful buying stuff from Amazon Japan that's Bandai. I don't know why but a couple of months ago, pre-orders from Bandai products started getting ridiculous shipping. Shipping for a product like this should be 12 to 1500 yen. And for some reason, it is coming in at 4320 yen. I don't know why. I've pre-ordered Pokemon products and magazines on Amazon Japan. And they come with a sensible amount of shipping. But for some reason, I don't understand Bandai products. It's happened with both Digimon and One Piece. For some reason, if you pre-order them on Amazon Japan to ship to the UK, they have absurd shipping that's about treble what it should be. Please be very, very careful. For this product, I've actually ordered it to a proxy address in Japan, and I'm getting it shipped on from there. Because getting it shipped direct to me, it was like 30 quid shipping. I'm not paying it. The shipping is literally more than the decks. It only seems to be for Bandai products, but it's happened for Digimon and One Piece for a few months now. So if you are trying to order off Amazon Japan direct to your home country, check the shipping. It is ridiculous at the moment, and I don't know why, because it's not happening with Pokemon products or magazines or anything else I've found. Just Bandai stuff. It's weird. All right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think this all qualifies as good news. I am hyped for the One Piece TCG, and we are three months away from the Super Pre-Release. Bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it on. Also, I'm about one week away from having these decks arrive at my proxy address, which means about a week and a half to two weeks away from actually getting them in my hands. Ah, oh, the excitement is real, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement is real. But for now, I want to know what you think about all of this. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always. Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.